So we have a C-Class contest here between Nathan Blundell from Super Gym in the red corner and Danny Taylor from Black Widow in the blue corner. 74 kilos. Nathan trained by Rick Barnell. Danny trained by Andy Housen. Should be a good contest. Straight into the action here in round one. Both kind of cancelling each other out in a clinch. Throwing nice knees. Danny a bit unfortunate with a twist there. Loses his balance. Nice take down. Nice take down again in the clinch from Danny. Jumping knee. Both got some power in them, these lads, haven't they? Yeah, these. He's a uh, kind of strange style, Danny. He seems to like really lean back when he throws a shot. Be, uh, that's working, nice that inside kick. kick's working well, isn't it? In the round one. He looks tired already, doesn't he, Danny? Pitbull in the ring there, just there. Taping up a few tears, I think, in the canvas. He's put some weight on, Annie. Poor kid. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to have me for that one. He carries it well. <laughs> a great trainer. So it looks like uh, Super Jim and Tom to move in and close the distance for the kicks. Ooh. Putting everything into them knees, Danny. Yeah, nice strong work in the clincher from Nathan. I'm not a fan of that catching a kick and then just throwing him on the floor, me. Um, I mean, it goes back to the last part where I was saying about the, the, the swinging punches. I mean, maybe it's not the most beautiful thing, but it does the job, I suppose, doesn't it? Yeah. I see what you mean, though. If you've done a bit more skill and then you yeah. follow up with a shot afterwards, then it's a, a bit more entertaining. Yeah, more I more do like to see him follow up with a shot. Oh, ooh, ooh, some heavy right boxing on. coming in there. He took one himself, Nathan. Nice kick. Oh, he looks to me. It looks like he, 
I keep on thinking he's going to go over on his ankle, Danny. Yeah. Getting all worried like his mum, like, <laughs> <laughs> like oh, is he all right? <laughs> Next generation of Ringo there. So how would you score this fight so far, Andrew? I'm not sure, to be honest. <laughs> not it's, yet, anyway. It's pre yeah, I'd, I'd, for me, it's pretty, pretty even. No real telltale scoring shots no. going in just yet. Find it best to choose who you're voting for when, when the referee's raised his arm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Makes it a bit easier. Seems to me Danny's just throwing shots and hoping for the best. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, the, the shots he's throwing are the right shots. That was nice. That was, that nice. was very nice turning a clinch. Oh, oh. <laughs> the referee nearly caught one then. <laughs> oh, that's stop dangerous. Looking his head like yeah. that. I tell you what, both of these lads can take a dig, can't yeah. they? Can give one too. He does. He seems like he's going to fall over every kick he throws. Yeah, maybe just a bit flat-footed, and I'm not sure how many fights Danny's had, but could be more of an experience thing. That's a lovely body kick, though. Low kick return from Nathan. So for me now, Danny's Danny's pulling ahead. In the scoring stakes. I was trying to think if he's taken a shot in the earlier rounds to make him a bit, you know, unstable on his legs when he's throwing a shot. What? Yeah, I'm not. I think it, it could be just tiredness or yeah, uh, lack of balance or, yeah, like you say, nerves, a bit of nervous energy. Still throwing good body That's kicks and nice good knees and good in the Yeah. Yeah, for me there, I think. Uh, Third round to Danny Taylor. So nice right kick, right hand from, and again from Danny Taylor. But then, gives it all away. He's getting through every time with that right body kick. So nice knee there from Nathan. Very low guard, hasn't he, Danny, now? Yeah. His arms are getting tired. Again, still, he's still scoring that body shot. Yeah, he's, every he's body ring every well. His footwork's working well for him. I say he's starting to pull out in front now more and more. <laughs> he doesn't waste any time, does he, getting straight back in? Good knee. Oh, it's uh, Nathan at it. Comes off the back of that knee exchange. Mm. 
Go to that round again to Danny, me personally. Yeah, but as I say, it's good. It's, for me, he's two rounds in front now, but still this even. last round, is, he's going to have to sit back and protect that lead because he looks very, very tired. Yeah. And Rick, Rick Barnell in the Super Gym corner there will be telling his fighter he needs to go out and, and win this round. He needs to stop him this round to get the win. The two experienced corner men in either corner, isn't they? So yeah. they'll be definitely telling the lads what to do, how to win this fight if they... Alston there saying, but well, looks a bit, he's telling him to teep and body kick, keep him out of range, conserve his energy, protect his lead. to the jumping roundhouse kick. Oh, big punch. Big right hand, it just... Oh, oh, again, that's a right hook and a half. Our old credit to Nathan Blundell, though, he has got some heart. And he's eating them shots, coming forward still. He looks very nice, body kick, he looks very unsteady on his feet, doesn't he, Danny, though? Yeah, he's... I'm not sure what they say, it's a lack of road work or... An injury or so, I'm not sure. Good That's name. a nice knee. Good, strong scoring knee. This is keep doing what he's doing, picking his shots and yeah, moving away. he's using his footwork while he's scoring on the back foot. Has to push through to the end now, Danny, to protect this lead. Nah, oh, nice good. Kick. It seems, it seems like he's hurt his ankle or something. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. He keeps on kind of giving way on him by the looks of it. He's still wants to keep composed, though. He's that's it. And he's still... Oh, oh, that's a big shot. He needs to keep the man's on. tight and protect yeah. himself for this last part of the round. Again, it's scored as a race, and Nathan is looking the stronger of the two. But there's no real scoring shots and effective no. scoring shots going in. Probably, I'd say... I think that four, is yeah, that. A, 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 no, Probably a 50-48 round uh, fight, that, I'd say. I feel it'll be a unanimous decision. Yeah. <laughs> Danny looks like he could do with his bed. <laughs> I know that feeling. Ladies and gentlemen, after an incredible five rounds of Muay Thai action, both judges have reached a unanimous decision. Please put your hands together for your winner in the blue corner, Danny Taylor. Yeah, that was well deserved win there. All credit to Nathan Blunder in the red corner from Super Gym. Good, strong performance. A few things to work on there now back at the gym.